Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Rangers 363V Restoration. This is part 31 of the series, and in today's video, we're going to be getting into carpeting this boat. We're going to teach you how to make your own templates and cut the carpet from those templates. So without further ado, let's get into it. We cut our template to a rough size uh, to fit in the boat and then we used the back side of the sharpie and ran it along the lip that is in the bottom of this ranger so that we could get a crease then we traced it with the sharpie in that crease and then we cut along that line then we laid it down here on the carpet and we put one inch painters tape around the perimeter and then we cut on the outside edge of that tape So we just cut out our first template and uh, we got our laid in there. We don't have any glue, we're gonna do it all tomorrow, but we're gonna spend most of the day, uh, you know, drawing the templates. It's mostly just for this part, the, this is the front deck, and then also for the back deck, uh, that's what we're gonna do next with my dad. So yeah, you guys saw us, we just laid out two pieces of paper and uh, we used the Sharpie, you can pretty much use whatever you want. And we just went along the edge because there's a lip here. Okay. So we would just take the Sharpie and push it down and then we put some tape. <laughs> He's the one that did it. He's the one that knew how to do this all. And then we marked it all out and then we kind of cut. We cut on the line. I get, I get a fee for every time I'm in the video. So, you know, that's the reason why I'm trying to pump myself up here. <laughs> so. And, and this is like Nathan's second last day. So y'all say yeah. bye bye to Nathan. I'm leaving tomorrow, and we're gonna miss him because he's doing a lot of hard work. Yeah, he's doing job. yeah doing all the all the hard grunt work. And then what we did is we put that template on the carpet, and we put a one inch tape all the way around it, and then we, so then we cut an inch over the edge, so that now we have you know room for air. But uh, it's coming together nicely. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, do the back of the boat. It's a little bit more. Um, it's not more difficult, it's just a weirder shape. So yeah, we're gonna get to going on this and uh, stick around. Now that we got the templates done, we're going to go ahead and start gluing up on the front deck. So we're just applying the carpet glue that you can get at Lowe's. We're laying down the carpet, so we only did one side of the boat. We flipped the carpet over and did the other side and laid it down and we started rubbing it smooth to make it flat and flush. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go around the edges or like the lips of the deck and we're going to start applying glue there and then just rubbing our hands back and forth to get a nice good seal and then we're going to go ahead and start trimming the carpet. Some things that are very key when you're cutting out these templates is first to make sure that all the templates are going in the same direction on the carpet for the nap. And the second thing is everything needs to be face down. So the top of the template needs to be face down as long as, as well as the carpet. The most important takeaway from this video if you want your carpet to look professional and very clean is to change your razor blades out every one to two feet 
flip it over and then get rid of it guys if you want fresh carpet that looks ultra clean always change out your razor blade Yep, so we got the carpet installed on the front deck. We did one lid, the bottom of the boat, and then back here at the back. And man, you start putting all these little trim pieces on and it starts to look like a boat. And uh, I'm getting really excited. We're, we're just inching closer and closer to being done. I cannot wait to get rid of this thing and get it out of my life and then get another one and do it all over again. Anyway, so we're going to get to putting carpet all over these uh, locker lids and start installing some of this stuff but yeah so that's it without further ado let's get into it all right guys so I get lots of calls yes people call me about this about putting the carpet on these lids and the reason why people call me about this is because there is a, a little channel so the first thing we did we made sure we removed all the rivets and as you can see from the factory they did a great job drilling these holes and so what we're doing is we're putting it on the on the carpet here so how much do you have per side mom uh i have two and a half on this one what we did what i did is i took i have i made sure i had one really good square straight edge i folded it over and then i made sure i had enough carpet to Leave, leave myself some trim room um two and a half is perfect for this lid so uh, i'll still have a little bit to trim uh it, but it'll give me enough to tuck in there to get it a good tuck inside the channels uh so I have two and a half inches all the way around i've marked the carpet so that when i place the i'm going to put the glue on the lid when i place the lid i'll have a a gauge so I'm pretty pretty centered on the, on the carpet piece and then we'll press it down we'll do the sides and then we'll fold over and pinch uh, the corners and then after we let it get good and tacky then we'll then we'll trim and we'll start trimming and, and putting it down inside the channels we're gonna put it there we're gonna get it glued up so I'm gonna put on a time lapse and then I'll do a voiceover on on the process we're doing it to get it we are going to be putting it in the groups so stick around and you'll see how we do it So what we went ahead and did is we put glue down there. We used uh, just like a plastic knife just to get it down there. And then uh, we have about an inch, inch and a half of material sticking up, just enough to like barely go over the edge, okay? So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take a flathead screwdriver and you're gonna shove in one end and kinda, kinda get it started. All right. And you're just trying to get it snugged in there. You're not necessarily, this isn't the finished step because we have a big uh, poof going on. So we're just trying to get it started here. As you can see, just working our way down. I don't think we could have picked a longer side to do this on. All right, so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a putty knife and you're just gonna kind of jam it in there. You see how it. Fits. You're gonna go in at an angle to grab the carpet, and then you're gonna kind of go pushing it in. You yeah, see? see? And so what it's doing is it's pulling the carpet tight around the edge. And then do you follow up by going straight down or no? No. I literally just go all the way down this way. Feel if you can. T you can actually feel if there's a poof in it, but. The first step with the screwdriver, you can do it with the putty knife, but with the screwdriver, 
was so that I got the edge of the carpet yeah. in, in the channel first. If you try to do it with the putty knife, it tends to want to like kind of fold up the carpet edge and then it makes it really hard to get the carpet in. But you can go back through and double check to make sure everything's snug. And basically that's it. We obviously cut the edges off here and uh, this looks like a new addition. Uh, Mom 45 the the corners, I guess, so that they're not so bunched up here where they meet, correct? Yes. Because if you leave it, if you leave it with a 90, uh, you know, there's not a lot of real estate in here. Yeah, you're trying to shove too much carpet in that little that little hole. And guys, keep your hands clean. Keep your hands clean. It's very important you're gonna get glue all over your carpet and it's gonna look bad. So yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the hardware on these lids and specifically the hinges. And I had to drill out the holes in the hinge as well as in the locker lid uh, to a quarter inch so that I could put the new rivets in. I use a larger rivet. And I started at one end of the hinge, put the rivet in there, went to the other end of the hinge, put the rivet in that side, and then filled in all the ones in the middle. And I found that way to be the best way and uh, it worked out really nice. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start installing these lids as well. So I have my mom holding it at one end and uh, same thing, I'm putting one screw at one end, one screw at the other and then work my way down. When you're using an impact driver, you're not gonna wanna hammer it home, you're gonna follow up with a screwdriver. Well, there she is guys she's looking so good we got pretty much all the carpet on except for that one lid all the lids on everything's going together we need to do a little bit of work on the latches but other than that we're pretty much done i hope you guys learned a lot from this video if you do have any comments or questions please be sure to leave them down below and i'll get to them um, and then these little silver discs that you're seeing in the uh, deck are our seat post plugs you can get them on our website if you have a ranger boat you're going to want to get the 177 plug or the 1.77 inch plug if you have another boat nine times out of ten you're going to want to get the three quarter inch plug or the 0.75 inch plug and like i said you can get those on our store uh, they come in different colors um, so you can kind of match it to your boat and kind of pimp it out but yeah guys that's basically it for this week but we have so much coming up. I have so much content shot. I'm so excited to share it with you. Uh, next week, we're going to be focused on getting the console put back in. And man, getting the steering wheel hooked up is going to look so good. And then also on top of that, we're going to start getting in the back of the boat, in that back compartment, getting all the batteries hooked up, all the wires ran, and making everything functional. That's going to be awesome. We're also going to be putting grab handles on the live well lids so that we can lift those up. We're gonna show you guys how to do that as well. We're not gonna be using those ones. We're gonna use a bigger one. But a couple takeaways I want you guys to make sure you remember if you're going to be doing carpet. First off is make sure your carpet is running the same way, the same direction throughout the whole boat, okay? Or your carpet is gonna look goofy. Second thing is ultra sharp knives, changing them out every one to two feet. If you don't do that, you're gonna have ripped edges instead of cut edges. And the last thing is to keep your hands and your work area clean. That is that's so essential. You're going to get car, uh, carpet glue all over your carpet. So I'll see you next week, guys.